Greetings and welcome to Let's Play the Castle of Dr. Brain. <laughs> Wait, I, this is my horror game. I never played this game, to be honest, but I heard a lot of good stuff about it. And <laughs> I like this person being the head. That guy there, and brain castle, looks kind of nice. Oh boy. What am I getting into? Well, I like puzzle games, so... Mm, it does make sense that I will like this game. I guess. Let me reduce sound a little bit. This is getting a tad lot. Test. Let's do 70%. Yes, okay. Watch it. Do, 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 do. Is there an actual intro? No! Hmm. Novice level. Huh. This is the front door of Dr. Brain's castle. Thank you. Uh, difficulty. Wood expert. Standard. Novice. Let's do standard. Because, like I said, I never played this game. Uh, I have... you're carrying nothing. What is this? You can't turn back from here. No, I cannot turn back. And yes, I got this game from Old Games as key. Let's delete this. And once, since we made quite some progress. Dr. Wayne got these lamps at a yard sale. He figured they were just right for illuminating his prized flamingos. Dr. Brain's reputation for brilliance doesn't extend to his taste in lawn decorations. So this is a monster. It's a grill. Dr. Brain's front door seems very secure. This looks like every other castle doorbell you've seen. How many castle doorbells have I seen so far? This is the front of Dr. Brain's castle. Let's... Dun dun. What? Oh. Oh no, the Simon Says game. I hate Simon Says games. Yay! I made it! Woo! <coughs> okay, this door opens strangely. Congratulations! You have successfully unlocked the front door. You are awarded the Memory Puzzle Plague. You keep it to help you remember this feat. Uh, thank you. Ooh, what's this? Wooden! You know it! The desk is three foot tall. Three foot. The foot from the suit of armor must be a four foot, then guess the oaks on you. What? Oh no. Inside the drawer you'll find a sliding tile puzzle. The object is to arrange the tiles correctly by sliding them blah blah blah. And you have to the numbers one, four, five, six. Yes, 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 yes. Ugh, I hate sliding puzzles. Uh, I had enough of yeah, I had really had enough of them in Tex Murphy, to be honest. I don't really need more of them. Uh, I guess I have to endure them. Uh, no. So let's arrange them. Anyways, one, two, three. Oh, I have to put a four over there anyway. There, the five over there anyways. Err. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. Mm, I have to get the eight over there. Nah. Nee. Did I mention I hate them? 
I really hate landing puzzles. Okay. Ooh, the nine is already correct. Yay! But I had to move the nine because the ten wasn't correct. Now I have the ten in the correct place, but not. ooh. I'm making progress, Dr. Watson. Ah, well, that's not what. But I'm close. This kind of scares me. Now I have to get the 13 over there, and then I'm done. Ooh. Well, let's try not to screw up too much, and... Hey! Okay? The first code word is chess. I should write this down, I guess. Uh, there's some coins laying here. Sorry. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Can I know? First... Chess. Okay. Thank you. Ah, it tells me this. The armor makes a hollow clang sound. You've heard that people were short in medieval times. That must be true. This armor is at least a foot short. Okay. Ah. The mass marvel is one of the brain's inventions. You need to construct correct addition, subtraction, multiplication and division problems to get what's in the treasure chest. Each problem uses one number from each row. You can buy the answer to the next problem for hint coin. I hope I don't need a hint coin for this. Okay, let's see. Um, <laughs> I guess considering the seven is ne, the last row, I need the division must be something multiplied by something is seven. And let's see. Um, what multiplied by seven makes a number over there? Uh, seven multiplied by eight is sixty-five. Huh. Ah. So let's see. Using the 4, I think this must be the one we multiply, so otherwise the numbers would be way too high. We have a 22 over there and an 88 over there. Ooh! Using this 99, we can surely say that it won't be in an addition, so we make this minus. Minus 33 it makes, no? And this addition, yeah. Okay, that's pretty easy. You don't you don't even need to calculate that much. You just need logic. Hmm? Logic. Logic makes the world go round. You solve the mass marble puzzle. In the chest you find a key. You take it and put it away for later use. The second code word is cribbage. Second... Cribbage. What's a cribbage? Ah! Pen! Stay here! Where are you? Pen! I miss you. Oh, there you are. Okay, what do we have here? Oh no! This is a magic square. Place numbers in the squares such that they add to the same totals across each row, down each column and along both diagonals. If you get stuck, oh, 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 I hate them. With 60 numbers! What the fuck? Oh. Well, let's fool around for a bit. I have no idea if this is right. Uh. Err. No, I will solve this later. <laughs> uh, okay, I have to solve it now, I guess. Oof. The problem is, I can't even solve them with logic that much. I think I can't. 
let's see, let's say we really want 34 over here, which wouldn't work out anyways, because we already got the highest and lowest numbers there. Oh wait, what? Well, let's use, put the 10 back. 14... No, it won't work out. Hmm. Thirteen four. Uh, I, I don't think so. I don't think so, Doctor Watson. You're on false pass. Um. Uh, the problem with these puzzles, I don't even know where to start them. There must be some way to start these puzzles and to actually solve them. <sighs> uh, 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 wait, I'm already stuck at the fourth puzzle. Great. Um, what kind of number? I think the biggest problem is trying to get the number you actually need to figure out. As soon as you have this, the rest is just arranging the tile, the numbers, but I don't even know which number to take. That's my main problem. <laughs> I'm still pretty sure it's... It, my first guess wasn't that bad. Um... Let's try this. Take 40. I'm pretty sure it's not 40. <laughs> I'm so sure about it. How about we just... Even, even trying them all out, that's a lot of combinations. I would check Wikipedia, I would actually know how much. <laughs> it's, uh. Take, taking without putting back. That's. how we'd say it in Germany to this problem. Um. Well, I have 240. Yeah. Yeah. But. no. <laughs> no. No. Uh, no. <sighs> Confusing. Seven, eight. Let's order them again. I guess your first guess wasn't that bad, but I need to rethink it. Like taking 16 and 1, and now one from the middle. Like putting 15 and 2, 13, no, 14 and 3, 70, 70, 70. And 13 and 4. Then we take 12 and 5. 11 and 6. 10 and 7. 9 and 8. So I have a 34 over here. Ah! Actually worked out. Awesome. Now we just need to jumble the numbers around until it shows 